In this movie, we're going to cover design tips for a detail report. This is a report that has a lot of detail for users to go through. These are often referred to as operational reports because of the level of detail required. Again, I'd like to reiterate the importance of a data date and timestamp, especially if you're dealing with a real-time environment where things change from day to day, hour to hour, or in some cases, second to second. Also, even though it's a detailed report, it helps to have summary information based on the different groupings. Another important piece are the column headings and the detail alignment. You also have the ability to choose the multi-section detail presentation. And then we have a phenomenon known as TMI, which is too much information on a single page. And then, of course, we have the export options to consider. I like to call it to print or not to print. Continuing along with this sample report, which is basically our report too, but cleaned up, this is in its summary version. What we're going to do is add the detail back. In this case, let's go to Design View. And I'm going to go ahead and delete Group Section 2. And I'm going to unsuppress Group 2. Group Header 2, as you know, is our office name group. Then I'm going to go ahead and kind of line that up over here. Next, I'm going to go to my Detail section. And I'm going to show it, i.e. unsuppress it. Now, if I click on my Preview tab, I have my East blocked out. I have my Charlotte office, and then all the detail associated with Charlotte. The important thing here is to align the data so it makes sense. Now we already have our data date, our data time, we have our title, and Crystal does a good job of lining up our column headings, but it doesn't help us follow the data, especially if you have to deal with all those details. So what I'm going to go back to my design tab. I'm going to right click in the details section and select all section objects. Next I'm going to format these objects, and I'm going to go to border and I need a single left line and press OK. Then I go back to my preview tab. Then I'm going to click outside there and notice now I have a line that helps me follow the columns and line them up nicely. In fact, I can make a semi grid out of this if I wanted to. I go back to my details and say select all section objects again, right click, format objects, and let's go back to the border. And on the bottom, I want to put a single line as well. And then click on Preview. Now if I click Outside, now I have something that helps my eyes follow it, almost like Excel, a nice little grid that's easy to read and follow. Especially if you have to print these out, these come in handy to add those things. Now some people like a left-handed line or a complete box or complete grid to work with. It really depends on the end user. I find this helpful with detailed reports because whether you export it or you print it, the human eye has a hard time following things that aren't completely lined up and organized, and a line really helps you get past that. Again, I can't stress enough the importance of the data date and data time, so I'll get up on the soapbox one more time. If you're beginning these reports, I highly suggest you insert the data date and data time. There are other options you can also use to help people read the data a little bit better. You can use shading, for example. Now, it's a little advanced, but once we get into formulas, you can get a formula that will allow you to shade every other line a different color, like gray, white, gray, white. That also helps you follow. Next, go back to Design View. You can also right-click on the Detail section and insert a section below. Now, what this will do is it will stick a blank line, as it stands, underneath every single detail line we have on the report. So if I click on Preview, notice what happens. Beauty or functionality, in this case, is in the eye of the beholder. A lot depends on how this report is intended to be used. As far as detail goes, presenting it is always kind of a toss-up. Some users like having spaces. Some like it all compacted into a nice grid. It really is going to depend on the specifics that they're asking to see. This is also a good place to introduce what I like to call TMI. Now, if you insert a section below in the details, you can actually stick in more data as you see fit. For example, in database fields, I can go to my revenue transaction table. I can bring in my product number, my client number. Scoot this over a little bit. I can bring in my type, basically anything that's available to me. Go ahead and close this. Now if I click on the Preview tab, notice what happens next. Now underneath my original data line, I have yet more data. 
This is another option. If you especially have large amounts of data that won't fit on one line, you can stick a line below and add, but you have to be careful. This is where we get into the TMI effect. It becomes harder to read and harder to follow. Now you can also put it into a grid and a group and do some things to make it easy if absolutely necessary, but again, the more you stick on the report, the harder it is to read.